All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Daniel Manayu. Uh, yeah, this is my first video log uh, for the development of Piano Face. Now, what is Piano Face? You're gonna ask. Piano Face is my first video game. Uh, I decided to make a video game because um, mainly I uh, I've always had a passion for games. I've always played video games since I was a kid. Um, most recently, I played um, a game called Cuphead, which really reminded me of uh, platformers from my childhood, and um, uh, I really enjoyed it. So I've always had an interest for making my own game, but I decided that hey, maybe now is the right uh, the right time in my free time to to try to make something. So um, anyway, without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you uh, what I have so far. I've only been working on this for about three weeks. I don't expect I'm going to get any views or anything on this video, so this is mainly a way of uh, kind of like a journal for myself, to see, like a development journal where I can look back and see where I was at when I started. And uh, hey, you never know if this, uh, if this does catch on, it will be kind of an interesting little documentary. I plan to do this weekly, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll just see what happens. So yeah, this is the main menu. It's pretty simple so far. Uh, this is a piano face right here. That's the main character. Uh, logo is going to be right here. Um, yeah, it's missing that right now. I, I still haven't uh, done it yet. We have a very simple menu. New game, continue, quit. I'm going to go ahead and, and hit new game. So this is the training room. The first thing that players see up here um, are the controls, the movement controls. So you can use the A, S, or D keys to move around. Oops, I just hit the, the attack by mistake. Kind of gave that away, but it's okay. So this guy's saying, hey, piano face, I see you made it to the training room. Try moving around and duck in for cover using these buttons. I'm assuming it's clear that it's the buttons above him. Dude, you'll have to be quick and nimble to survive the music madness ahead. But this guy right here, he's not animated yet. That's actually what I'm planning to work on tonight. I'm gonna try to animate him and also him. They're gonna be your trusted tutorial helpers. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, uh, keyboard controls. It works with the next box controller, but I don't have one right now. So I guess I'll show that later. Um, if you get close to this, uh, to this pit right here, it shows you the jumping controls. And it's basically A on the controller or space bar to jump. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over this. And then this guy right here says, to shoot wonderful and deadly music notes, press the left mouse button. If you're using a controller, press the right trigger. Aim your shot to the mouse or the sticks, but be wary, you can't move while shooting. So yeah, this is how you shoot. You just aim, point, shoot wherever you point. It's pretty cool. Now the fact that you can't really move while shooting, so you have to press the keys to move, uh, that was a conscious design choice. Um, in Cuphead, you can actually do that. You can move and shoot at the same time. But I've noticed that if you move and shoot in this game, uh, players would just be like in this stance the whole time, and they would, you know, it, it just kind of became like this constant running gun. And I, I just didn't want that. I wanted my game to be a little bit more methodical, maybe. More, more platforming, more like jumping over obstacles like this. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, check out the first level which is the only level i have so far and it's just pretty much just the beginning so it looks like this um that was the first enemy he's a cello he's um uh he shoots uh, bows at you um uh, he's one of the easiest enemies to program that's why i chose him just to uh, uh just to get it out of the way uh, he basically just spawns and flies towards wherever the player is. Um, they only come and get you if you're at a certain distance. So see, there's a guy right there now. If I get closer to him, he's going to start you know, making his way towards me wherever I go. Um, initially, the game was almost impossible because you couldn't really shoot down the bows and they were also faster. In the meantime, I made it so that you can sh actually shoot their projectiles and shoot them. Uh, I don't want the game to be challenging, but uh, but I also want to introduce it like gradually. This is very barren right now. You're gonna have more enemies. Also, these these platforms are very much placeholder. I just drew like one square, but um, I want the platforms to be hand drawn. So these are gonna be invisible and they're gonna be covered by actually hand drawn platforms. And that's something that hopefully I'll have as an update in the next video. Um, anyway. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, move through the level. That's pretty much the entire level. Actually, I don't really have much more to show. Uh, I could show his ducking animation, which I think is pretty cool. That's him ducking, and he can actually walk while ducking. He can move around, but he can't shoot while being ducked. So, um, ducking is good because it helps you avoid some of the projectiles. I'll try to show you this here now. So, with these last guys here, this is kind of like the hardest part. See, oh boy, I did not avoid any of their projectiles, but here, see, you can avoid their projectiles, but I want you, I wanted you not to be able to shoot while doing that, because I don't want people playing the game just like that the whole time. So, you, you pretty much just have to be in this idle position to be able to shoot. And yeah, if you jump and shoot, it just kind of interrupts your jump, so... Uh, this might seem annoying, but that was a purposeful design decision. Now, all the art is done by hand, by me. Uh, I don't know how good it is, it's probably bad. I'm not really an artist, I'm a composer and a pianist. I, that's gonna be definitely my forte in this project. Um, but, hey, it looks pretty cool. I've had people compliment it, so sure, why not? I just did wanted to do all of it kind of on my own. Um, so yeah, let's get rid of these last three guys here. They're really that hard now. They they used to be almost impossible when you couldn't shoot their uh their projectiles down, but that's pretty much everything I have so far. I'm gonna go ahead and jump here. I'm gonna sacrifice myself for the greater good. And we're back to the main menu. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the beginning of my journey with Piano Face. Uh, I have a design doc for this. I'm trying to do this as professionally as possible. It is a hobby project but i do plan on releasing this on steam i plan to have it at a decent enough quality that i can release it on steam and be proud of it um i'm a little background on myself i'm a pianist and a composer um i uh, teach piano too and i've noticed that there's a demand for uh, games that are both fun and can teach students about of all ages not just kids uh, about uh, musical instruments so um yeah that's maybe a niche that i want to fill uh this is not my dream game to be developing but i'm also very new to programming i've never programmed before i'm using an engine called game maker studio which has its own proprietary uh programming language called gml uh, i'm learning the inner nuts of it and hopefully after this project i can move on to unity and develop my uh, dream game, which is a turn-based uh, turn RPG. Um, what else could I say about this? Uh, well, I guess I'll give more details in future videos. Uh, if you'd like to know more about myself or my work, uh, please go to www.manoyumusic.com. You'll probably find the link in this video if you somehow manage to see this. <laughs> um, and... Um, I do write music for films and uh, other games, like actual video games. I'm doing some virtual reality projects right now, which are a lot of fun. And um, that's pretty much it. So thank you very much for watching this. And uh, uh, we'll see you next week.